you want to see what six months worth of saving quarters looks like look at that it is all quarters and then some that's I don't know about six months worth of quarters it's probably maybe oh I don't know hundred and fifty dollars in quarters maybe more no telling how much is actually in here but I've been throwing quarters into this thing for I'd say about six months now pretty cool right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and thank you for clicking that video to watch we appreciate it so we actually got a two-part thingamajigger going down today the first thing is we're going to take a look at the borrow what this is is a pressure gauge that reads the the pressure inside of your system so that way when you build a computer and you build a custom loop the only way you know if you have a leak is if you fill it with water and turn it on. But then that can be too late. You can cause damage. You can have a horrible leak right at the block, right on your CPU, have the water run down the CPU on the GPU, and you can be in some serious trouble. So this kit is supposed to prevent that. Instead of filling the loop with water, you fill it with compressed air and what it does is it reads and lets you know if there's any leaks because if there's air leak there is a water leak it's just the way it goes but I want to use this pressure gauge on this system unfortunately though one of the things that I was looking at was I know it might be kind of hard to see but look see that screw inside of there it's rusting I'm like, are you kidding me? That thing is starting to rust. So, I got to take this out. I got to take that off. And then I got to pull that screw out. And I have a zinc screw that has been powder coated that I know will not rust that will go in there. So, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to hook this thing up, find out what's going on. Um, I'm going to replace that, fill it with water, and then, well, actually, no, no water, with air. Fill it with air and show you how this thing works so make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new let's do this roll that intro Don alright so let's go ahead and open this nice little kit now I have seen several different variances of this kit. I've seen like a long tube style pump. I've seen even like a bike style pump. This right here was the nicest one out of all of the pumps that I looked at. And of course it was made by Baro, so what do you expect? Only the best from them. Let's see here. How does this open? It goes some way direction this way. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, this way. Yep open I have to say man they definitely did a nice job packaging it alright so inside we have a couple of things let's see here uh, we have a tube alright that looks like it has two male fittings on it I bet this is what I attach to the system to the pump alright I'm just gonna set that over there this looks like our pumper like our hand pump yeah, it has like an air valve fitting on it like that, like a stem. That's interesting. Okay, set that over there. And then this is the regulator. And it should have a gauge on it. Now, what you want is you want it to be between 0 0.5 bar and 0 0.75 bar. So what you do is you fill the system up with air until it gets to about right in between the green, somewhere right there. And then you release the pump 
and see if the system holds air. So that's basically how it goes. And then there should be one more thing. Ah, yes, the stem that goes between the two components. Okay, well, it's pretty straightforward. This goes to that, that goes to that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together real quick. I don't believe that there's, whoa, I don't believe there's anything else in the bag. Yeah, no, nothing in it. Okay, so we'll just set the box over there. Okay, so let's assemble it and we'll go from there. Alrighty. So I have the unit put together. That's basically all it is. So what I'm going to do is I have it plugged on here and plugged on here. So I'm going to hook this in into that opening and then I'm going to start to prime the system. And now since we've done our tests, let's, uh, let's let all the pressure out. So we're going to turn this valve, and there it goes, all the pressure's out. Sweet. You definitely want to do that. Definitely want to depressurize the system before anything. You don't, because you got to remember the system's under pressure, so you don't want to just like go and pull something apart or disconnect it. You could take a chance of that valve popping or something. You just better to do it the safe way. Who loves water computing? We do. Who's part of the master PC race? We are. Very cool. Okay, so I very quickly found out that this is either a two-man job or you have to outsmart the beast. So what I did is I used a staple gun and a zip tie so that way it holds down the pump while I pump it. And what you do is as you're pumping it, you have to have your other hand over here turning this valve down. So as you can see, this system is showing well over 0.5 bar. So that's extremely well. And then on top of that, it is still holding pressure. Let's see here if I can get... I know the light sucks. Ah. There it goes. Okay, so you can see the green. Yeah, you can see it's clearly holding. Yeah, that's great. So that means that this system here has no leaks anywhere in it. No leaks nowhere. That's that's good. Because uh, that right there would save me the trouble. Especially since I have to tear it back apart. And then once I reassemble it, I can test it this way again. And that way I'll find out if my system's ready to put water in it. So... You know, I'm right now I'm working on a Titan rig. That right there is about a $2,500, maybe a little bit more, computer and worth of hardware and equipment that's going in it. So I definitely want to make sure that my system is water and airtight before I start putting, you know, fluid through it. Because like I said, that could cost you. So yeah, that was really cool. If you guys want this, you can find it on AliExpress. It was about 30 bucks or so. I can leave a link in the description below. Like I said, they also make a couple different kinds. But, I mean, it all does the same thing. So, you know, no problems there. Now, for me, I need to take this all apart and get that screw out so I can put a new screw in and get that rusty screw out. Because that's going to ruin the pump and everything. That rust will kill it. But, alright guys, I'm getting out of here. I've learned not to do too much talking these days. Uh, I just wanted to show you all this. This was the Borrow Pressurize. It's a, uh, they actually got an official name for it. It's the GJQM01. And it's called a Tightness Tester. That's the actual official name, a Tightness Tester. So, alright, make sure to leave me that like. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. Make sure to share this video on Facebook. We do appreciate y'all for watching, and as always, you guys be cool. See y'all in the next one. So look. I just wanted to show you guys that real fast. Get a better look at it. I can't believe that screw rusted like that. That's crazy. Wow. So I was thinking about supercharging this thing, but that'll be for another video.